Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, thank you very much for my lecture. To give me opportunity for a presentation in this moment, Dr. Prima Indang Suslawati, lecturer in Bioinorganic Chemistry, and also really thank you very much for my friends to see my presentation right now. So, I, my name is Mohamed Ramadan with the number code f one c one thirteen zero twenty three. When I saw my result about what is function sodium in our body. So, just check it out. Sodium is one of the count metal. We can find them in the group when they're very stable and have properties. All of them is metal elements. Except the hydrogen, this is gas. And we have one electron in our cell and very reactive. The atomic number of sodium is elephant and have codes in A and have mass around 23 milligrams per mole. And what is function sodium in our body? Sodium is both an electrolyte and minerals. It helps to keep the water and electrolytes balanced in our body. Sodium is also important to is also important in how nervous and muscles work. And muscle sodium we can find it in blood and lymph fluid. It's about 85%. Sodium level in the body are partly controlled by hormone called cholesterol. It's which made by other glands is above in our kidneys. At a certain level tell the kidneys when to hold sodium in our body instead of passing it in the urine. Small amount of sodium are also lost through the skin when you're sweet. This is why you have salty sweet. Sodium is also present in the limb system to balance electrolyte like I, like I said before. The limb system is a network of vessels and organs through the body. The system carries light fluid, fluid, nutrients, and water material between the body, to the body tissue, and the bloodstream. The lymph system includes the lymph nodules, tonsils, thymus, spleen, bone marrow. The lymph nodules filter the lymph fluid as it flows through them. The nodules trap bacteria, virus, and other fragile substances, which is our then destroyed by special white blood cells called lymphocytes. Lymphocytes. The lymph system is also important part of the immune system. The body defends against disease. When there, when there is problem in the body, the nearby lymph nodes might become swollen. For example, yeah, we can see in the picture. For example, if a person has a, a trauma infection, lymph nodes in the the neck might swollen and become tender. Sometimes disease like cancer can begin in the lymph system or spread it to the this is why natrium is really important in our body. According to the video, this is a part of active transfer because that's using it this using ATP to broke out sodium from intracellular to extracellular. When the prosper from ATP combined with protein, protein run into prosper related. And after that, sodium changes to potassium up at the same time with the potassium bond with the protein prosper related. Phosphor come out from the protein and after that combined with another ADP to make energy again. Why is too much salt bad for you? Eating too much salt can be bad for your blood pressure. Your kidneys help control your blood pressure by taking water out of your bloodstream. Salt contains sodium. Too much sodium in your blood pulls the water back in. More salt means more water in your blood vessels, and that means... Higher pressure. Over time, high blood pressure makes your blood vessels work harder. To cope, their walls thicken reducing the space inside the blood vessels. Your blood pressure rises even more and less blood may get to your organs. Blood carries oxygen and other nutrients around the body. 
Less blood to your heart can cause pain known as angina, or even a heart attack. Less blood to your brain can cause a stroke or a type of dementia. High blood pressure contributes to around half of heart attacks and strokes. Adults and children over 11 shouldn't eat more than 6 grams of salt a day. Six grams is a level teaspoonful. That's the same as 2.4 grams of sodium. Younger children should eat less. Three quarters of the salt we eat is hidden in ready-made food. They may not even taste salty, like bread and breakfast cereal. What can you do? Check food labels. Use the colour codes, green equals low in salt. Choose brands with less salt, some even have lower salt versions. Don't add salt when you're cooking. Add flavour with black pepper, herbs, spices and lemon juice. Can you spot salty foods? bhf.org.uk slash salty dash surprises. Uh, thank you very much for your attention, really, really thank you very much for your attention and thank you very much for my lecture and see you later. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.